and answers. So do make note of your questions as we go along so that we can have a const constructive and useful session of the most benefit to you. Uh, let's ha hear from Mia. So when we started to hear a lot about InsurTech a few years ago, we were very interested in the question, well, how relevant is this really for the insurance industry? Um, is this something that is really a, a, a happening in Europe and the US and the more developed space, the lemonades of the world, or is this actually something that is, is relevant for the markets where we typically work? So we started by doing a database of all the InsurTech initiatives that we could find. Um, we did the first cut last year, and we've just updated uh, up until the start of this year. And it's been very interesting to see how incredibly relevant it has been for the insurance markets where we all work. I think we are obviously desperately in need of technology to help us to improve coverage. In most of the countries where we work, we see PAPs take up of 15 to 20% of, of insurance for most people. So. There's a real need for us to figure out how we can make technology work to have to do with, with new types of data, new uh, types of analytics. As Craig was talking about données, wearables, uh, 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 including telematics, health wearables, etc. Um, definitely a, a key factor. Um, I was chatting to AXA yesterday, who've, who've launched a, a product for Uber um, in, in, in Ghana, which actually allows you to track whether there's a customer in the car or not. So it's very interesting around the, the, the kind of questions that data allows you to address and how that allows you to, to tailor the business model. Some of the other initiatives is around peer-to-peer, -peer, and I think that's a very exciting model that we'll he hear a bit more about later this morning. And then, of course, index-based, the topic of last year's ATI forum, um, particularly in the agricultural space, uh, there's a lot of uh, new initiatives there. Um, and then a lot of insurers are trying to digitize more. So looking at the end-to-end -end in your value chain, how you actually move away from paper, um, even some of your front-end sales, how you get more of that onto technology, but really around how you improve how you digitize the entire structure, which can be very challenging, especially if you're working with a lot of legacy systems that all operate differently. So a lot of potential for technology there. And then technology-enabled partnerships. So not just within your own business, but also new models of how different entities are partnering. And I think it'll be also interesting to consider the, the regulatory considerations around some of those aspects. But mobile um, providers are the common one that we hear a lot about in the technology space. But of course, there's a lot of other tech providers that we are already or could potentially be partnering with. And then the last one that I'm very interested in as well is, is demand-based. So not just um, usage-based type of models, which allows you to only pay for insurance as you're using it, but also more on-demand insurance. So you actually only take out the insurance, for example, for a specific trip or a, a specific uh, a need that you've got at, at that point in time. So if we look at the, the extent to which these different types of models have been implemented, uh, in the emerging market. The light blue are the models that we found last year, and the darker color is, is the new models that we found this year. So you can see there's been quite a significant expansion in the different models. We found about 10 that fell away, um, but overall there have been quite a lot of new models, and some of the initiatives that we found last year have also added to the countries where they're operating. So a lot of uh, uh, engagement in InsurTech in the different uh, emerging markets where we're, where we're working. Um, I think uh, one of the interesting things here is, is that the digital platforms and the technology-enabled partnerships are growing quite quickly. But if you look at the rate of expansion of the, of the other models, which are really a little bit more foreign to how insurance uh, uh, is typically provided, um, they're also increasing at a very swift scale. And they really speak to different types of business cases and different types of business models, um, not just around how we're doing So we were not just interested in, okay, what technology exists out, out there. We were also interested to understand to which degree these new types of technology are actually solving the kind of uh, insurance challenges that we're all facing. And uh, if, if we kind of reflect on the, the typical challenges that our insurers face when they're trying to serve the low end of the market. It's things like, we don't know who the customers are. There's very limited data on the customer. Uh, we can't reach the customer. They're very difficult to, um, to uh, connect with. They're not necessarily owning bank accounts. They don't have a group life cover, etc. 
And also consumer needs, needs are different and new. Uh, a lot of uh, consumers have very irregular incomes. Um, they are working multiple jobs in, in different professions that are difficult to, to target from an all perspective. So we need to think differently about the kind of needs of customers. And then we also have customers that are very inexperienced with financial services overall. So there's a real need to figure out how we c uh, empower customers to, to actually derive value from the kind of products that we would be offering. And then of course the business model is constrained. It's not an easy uh, uh, business to be in and the, the margins are very thin. So and when we look at the different insure tech initiatives and the extent to which they were actually applied to the, the typical challenges that we find, um, we saw that, and this is the, still the current picture, the 2018 um, uh, database view. Uh, access to customers is the first area where InsureTech is applied, and that's, that's typically where a lot of your M insurance and your mobile insurance initiatives fit in. Um, the other two areas is, is around the constrained business models, which looks at digitizing your business case, etc., and the degree to which that's uh, improved and then information on customers. So looking at the data that you've got access to, um, and we've, we've done a separate project on, on the use of data and client data and insurance, and initially it's, it's still looking inward. So what kind of data does the insurer have access to about the existing customers and how can they improve th the use of that data? Um, but I'm also excited about the, I guess, number three and four categories around uh, new needs of customers and um, how that's being affected, because I think there's a real role for technology to play to also actually empower customers. So it's not just a question of how do we improve the business case, but it's also a question of how do we get the customer more, and more engaged, and how do we help them get more value out of insurance, which is ultimately going to drive the longer term sustainability of, of the industry we're operating in. Um, so, of course, we need to be sustainable from a, from a profit perspective, but over the long term, if we don't have customers, uh, you know, kind of we've, we're not really going to grow as an industry. I think, the, in, in conclusion, um, uh, this is a very exciting space. I think there's a lot of potential here. But, of course, the, the regulatory question is a big one, and we're going to be having a very good conversation around that for the next couple of days. Um, but this does bring a lot of complexity with it, and how we can best use this to the advantage of, of our customers is, I guess, the, the main question that we should all be thinking about. Thank you. Okay, so, so let's have... So the first